Have you ever done something with so much love and passion? Crafting and creating and DIY is my hobby. I enjoy so much each time I make some crafts and show you how I made them very easy on a budget in my free time. I am C and this is CJ DIY. Welcome my darlings. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope I can give you so much inspirations for your home decor. Today I made such an easy project with things that I had at home that everybody can make it. So for DIY number one, I'm using this umbrella door hanger that I purchased last year at Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna make a beautiful floral arrangement for our outdoor look. So I'm just filling it out with uh, shopping bags so we can have enough space and then I can fill it out with a lot of beautiful greeneries and flowers. So I just picked my random greeneries and flowers that I had at home and simple as that I'm just filling out my umbrella with them randomly. There is so many greeneries, so many flower bouquets and that's simple but very high-end looking and each year last year i had a different flower arrangement and this year i put different flower arrangement and i made it simple last year i put a bow but this time i just wanted to leave it simple like that adding some dollar tree greeneries as well to add that magic touch and voila let me know what do you think i'm really loving how it came out super easy remake for this coming spring and summer today i'm so happy that i'm a part of this collab april showers bring may flowers hosted by my amazing darling mary beth from mb great design She's super talented, amazing ladies creating beautiful things. If you haven't visited her channel, please do so. Along, we're gonna have amazing playlists with so many talented creators. Links from Mary Beth channel and the amazing playlist are in my description box. With that being said, we're jumping into DIY number two. I found this wheel cart from thrift store i purchased it i believe 350 or 250 i'm not sure and now i'm just gonna refresh it up i don't like i mean i really like this color but to match my scheme today i'm just gonna add this like a beige grayish color chalk paint and i just paint it and i'm gonna distress it with a dark gray just to get that a uh, little bit rustic look on it simple as that now when the cart is dry I'm putting the wheels back together simple and now I'm gonna decorate it. I'm adding this greenery garland that I bought it from Joanne for like $7. It was on clearance. And now I'm planning to add that styrofoam in the middle so I can add more things. First, I wanna see how it's gonna look before I glue and I put everything together. And now I'm gluing the styrofoam. It doesn't need to be in a perfect shape. You can also add the flower foam from Dollar Tree. I didn't find any this time, so I'm adding whatever I had at home. And styrofoam can do good. So now I'm adding this mini cute shower and rake from the gardening section from Dollar Tree. I thought those shower and rake look so cute and I had to involve them in my decorations this time. So I'm just putting them in the middle in the styrofoam. And also, I'm going to add that beautiful sign from Dollar Tree. It says, plant seeds of happiness, kindness, and love. What a beautiful saying. 
So I'm gonna put that one in the middle between my shawl and the rake and I think it's gonna look super cute. You're gonna see after that. Now I remove the garland so I can glue a Spanish moss to cover the styrofoam, just like so, where we staged our gardening tools with a sign. And that's it. I told you this time I made such a cute recreations and DIYs that I'm pretty sure any one of you have something old at home that you can recreate and make it look beautiful for this coming spring, summer and make it beautiful outdoor look for your front way or the backyard. And it's going to look super high end, very easy on a budget. Now when I glue the moss, I'm adding the greenery garland back to my willing cart. And this is it for this DIY. And it looks super cute in front of my house. You're gonna see at the end. And here it is in front of my house. I really like how it all came out. And my final DIY today, super easy. I have these beautiful rain boots for ages. I have a black pair and a pink pair. And I thought I'm gonna do something cute with them. I filled them out with the shopping bags as well. And now I'm just gonna fill them out with these beautiful greeneries bouquets that I bought from Michael's they were on clearance for 50%, so I bought them very cheap. So I'm just filling out my boots with all those beautiful greeneries, eclipses, whatever I found in my stack. And now I'm gonna add a bow. First, I add this burlap ribbon with polka dot. And while I'm making the bow, I'm thinking this white doesn't match with my pink with a black design on my boots. But I'm still going to make the bow just to see how it's going to look before I switch it to something else. I removed that burlap because I didn't like how it matched. So now I'm adding this other burlap from Dollar Tree with the black designs. And this one is going to match perfectly. Because as you can see, there is some kind of black design on the rain boots. And this burlap bow it's matching just perfect i made like a four loops simple bows i'm cutting the edges and that's it for this diy super easy and beautiful and you gotta let me know what do you think here is the front of my house how it look right now i put some hat i put my umbrella hanger i add some beautiful decorative pillows outdoor pillows and here are my rain boots with my wheel cart with the gardening tools and the beautiful. I also add a, another sign uh, on my boots from Dollar Tree. And here you go. I hope I gave you so much inspirations today that from anything old that you already have in your house, with a little magic touch, you can recreate them, refresh them, and make them beautiful, decorative home piece for indoor or outdoor for our beautiful season. Let me know how I did. Give me your thoughts. Thank you so much for always leaving me such a beautiful comments. I really love you. And before I let you go, don't forget to check out my amazing, beautiful, talented Mary Beth. Mary Beth, thank you so much for this collab challenge. It was so much fun. And all those amazing creators. And as I said, links will be in the description box. Give them some love because we all made such a beautiful creations and inspirations for you. And until next time, 
I'm sending you lots of love, lots of music, positive energy from me to you. I will see you on the second with some Cinco de Mayo creations. Bye-bye!